So guys, it is time for the only match I'm reacting to from TLC. So far, um, the New Day match and the uh, Buddy Murphy Alistair Black match have been my favourites. Um, however, I don't think any of these matches are, you know, that they won't get views if I react to them. This is the only match I can see doing well. Um, and considering the card is pretty lacklustre in general, I am very interested to see how they pull this off. Um, obviously, The Fiend is not competing in this match. It is just the normal version of Bray Wyatt. Miz currently making his entrance. I'll see you when Bray Wyatt's coming out. And here we go, the Firefly Funhouse tune playing. Bray Wyatt on the Titan Tron. It's all Bray Wyatt happy Trons. And here he comes, just literally wearing his normal Firefly Funhouse attire. A sweater, trousers, shoes. This isn't the theme, ladies and gents. This is just Bray Wyatt, which makes me think, are they gonna have Miz get a lot of offense in and they're gonna treat the normal Bray Wyatt like, a, like he's weak and the theme is the strong one? Or are they gonna have the normal Bray Wyatt be just as dominant? We shall see. But this is the first time that normal Bray Wyatt has been on TV since the Deleters of Worlds, I believe, over a year. And here he is with the Blue Universal Championship. Let's get right into the match. I think the referee just forgot that this isn't a Universal title match. He showed them is the belt and then sort of went, oh yeah, and just put it ringside, but we are ready. Referee, ring the bell. Let's go. Bray Wyatt versus The Miz. And The Miz straight away with a big boot. I thought this was going to happen. I thought they were going to do this. Have normal Bray Wyatt literally just eat off him. And that's exactly what's happening. The Miz going completely mental on Bray Wyatt straight away with these knee strikes in the corner. Bray not wearing any special attire once again. Literally just wearing what we normally see him in. Bray's taking his time to recover in the corner, saying to the Miz, you know, wait there. And the Miz going for him again. Big kicks, and now we got the, these big kicks just by the Miz. This isn't any grappling, it's literally just punches and kicks, punches and kicks over and over again. The Miz just completely going ham on Bray Wyatt, annihilating him. It's very interesting what they're doing here. I think it works though. I think it does work having the fiend be absolutely unstoppable and then having the normal Bray Wyatt character sort of be the good side that's, you know, see no evil, speak no evil and sort of just, you know, doesn't really fight back. He wants to be innocent. He wants to, you know, help people. He wants to heal people, you know, I guess I should say, but no, he's literally hasn't, yeah, exactly what Michael Cole just said, he hasn't tried to fight back, which is what I think they're going to do, just have him eat offense and not defend himself, really. But oh no, maybe, maybe not scratch that. Bray Wyatt just grabbing the Miz, throwing him in the corner, going for a clothesline, Miz moves out the way, and now the Miz going to do the... These corner roundhouse kicks. Again, continuing the assault on Bray Wyatt. I don't believe the Miz will win this match, but I do believe he'll get a lot of offense in. Bounce himself off the corner in a big corner. Close. Oh no, double knees. Thought he was going for his clothesline. Double knees again. Miz completely in control of this match. And there's the corner clothesline. He was hanging on, keeping him there. I knew it was going to be reversed. Bray Wyatt's got him, sister Abigail. Miz reverses, skull crushing finale to Bray Wyatt. What? Not going for a cover though. No cover. Because Miz is shook. Miz is still trying to figure out. What the hell's happening inside this ring? Well, I also think he wants to continue to punish Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt's laughing. He's laughing. He just ate a skull crushing finale and he's finding it funny. This is slamming Wyatt's face into the mat and Wyatt's laughing. What's the Miz doing now? 
Gonna put a sort of arm bar on. Trying to lift the arm of Bray Wyatt. Can he get it? He is he's stretching him. Bray Wyatt's laughing. Can you guys hear that? Bray Wyatt is fully laughing at this. Now he's going to grab the fingers and he's bending them right back. Bray's saying, do it. Still laughing. Oh, and the Miz snapped the arm backwards and Bray Wyatt is now in a lot of pain. Bray rolling to the outside. Let's see what happens when this match continues. Bray Wyatt now going to try and get some offence in. This is the first bit of offence he's delivered in this match. He's got Miss Hanging Sister Abigail ringside. Ouch. 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 And now he's smiling once again. What count are we on, referee? I can't tell. Count of one. Okay, that's not how it's meant to happen, but never mind. I think Bray might win by count out. I think he might win by count out. If they're wanting to keep the character as, you know, doesn't hurt people, keep the Bray Wyatt character as the one that doesn't hurt people, then winning by count out's a good option, to be fair. But the Miz getting back to his feet, count of nine, he's back in the ring. Bray Wyatt with almost a look of, with almost compassion. Bray just looked at Miz and said, please stop. Here we go, Sister Abigail again. This time it's got to be over. One, two, three. Bray Wyatt has beaten the Miz. And he looks sad about it. He almost looks sad that he's had to punish the Miz. Now he's laughing again. I like this, I like this. I hope they don't use this Bray Wyatt character too often. Um, but if they're gonna keep the direction of he tries his hardest not to hurt his opponents and then the Fiend tries his hardest to decimate his opponents. I am a big fan of that and it's an interesting new take on the Bray Wyatt character, the Fiend is on screen. Uh oh. They're treating them like they're two separate people. Bray Wyatt's in the ring, the Fiend is on screen. He's not saying anything, he's just staring. Bray has rolled out the ring. Bray Wyatt's gone under the ring and he's, oh no. Oh no, he's got that massive mallet that he smashed Rambling Rabbit with. He may be looking to use it on the Miz. That's the same mallet he killed Rambling Rabbit with, I believe, Rambling Rabbit's first or second death. Miz hasn't moved. Bray is stalking him. The Fiend's still staring. Can't tell what the fans are chanting though. Let him in, I believe. Dragging that mallet closer to the Miz. Bray White standing right next to him now. What? The lights are going out as if there's going to be a fiend attack. But Bray's in the ring. 